guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. If you love all things Korean skincare, just like I do, please consider hitting subscribe anytime during this video if you like what you see. So today we're talking essences. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. This is one of the products that I get the most questions about. This is a product that I see the most confusion and misunderstanding about in the K-beauty community. So I wanted to make like one sort of dedicated video resource to answer all of the questions that I get just time and time again. This is going to be like a K-beauty 101, what is an essence? So today I'm going to be answering that question, what is an essence? Why is it different from your donor? I'm also going to be talking about what the difference between a first essence and a traditional essence and i'm going to be answering the question where the heck do you order this in your skincare routine so if you are so ready give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started so what is an essence now one of the definitions definitions, if you will, that I keep running into time and time again is that an essence is the essential step in your Korean skincare routine. Well, that sounds really nice. Um, and it's nice to know that it is considered essential. That's not really a definition, is it, right? So in order to really dig in deeper and figure out what is the function of an essence, um, let's dive in deep. And in this, we're gonna have to start talking about what's the difference between a toner, an essence, and a serum. I often will see people say something to the effect of like, oh, I just got the Misha essence. I love this toner. <laughs> Those are two separate products. So what is a toner? So in Korean skincare, toner is a really hydrating, kind of like rebalancing step. You know, toners are really meant to bring your skin's uh, hydration levels back up after cleansing. It really is a purely very watery and hydrating step. Now essences, while they can have a similar texture, fluid, watery, some of them bring a lot of hydration to the party, right? While they can have similar textures, Really their function is very different because essences contain more highly concentrated active ingredients in the formulation, which is often why you see essences costing way more money than toners. And it has to do with the ingredients inside the formula. There's a lot more beneficial ingredients. Now, essences, there's so many different ones out there. So I can't say, oh yes, they're meant to brighten your skin or oh yes, they're meant to bring anti-aging, but just generally across the board, right? they usually bring some kind of preventative anti-aging or well-aging benefits to the party. And a majority of them do claim to help improve your overall complexion. A lot of them do bring some uh, good brightening benefits to the party, along with things like antioxidants, fermented ingredients. We got all kinds of great goodies happening in an essence. You don't really see those types of things happening in toners. Toners are really there to balance your hydration. Essences are here to bring the concentrated beneficial ingredients and infuse that into your skin. And so in that sense, an essence in function is actually closer to your serum than your toner. Yeah, because it's a treatment step. This is really something that is going to bring visible benefits to your skin. So if an essence is closer to a serum, could it replace your serum? Potentially. Um, here, let me break down some of the differences because they both are considered to be treatment steps, but there are some differences. And the biggest one comes into concentrations of those beneficial ingredients because the serum is going to be way more concentrated than a essence is, right? It's going to have even more benefits. But in my mind, an essence just really brings a lot of general overall benefits for healthy looking skin, right? They bring a lot of general complexion benefits, some general anti-aging benefits, where serums can be a little bit more laser focused, targeted on specific skincare goals. A question that I get a lot is, you know, is an essence really necessary? Or is this just another extra step that they're trying to sell us? And my answer to that is maybe and maybe not. You know, um, I think it, it really is gonna vary wildly from person to person, because we all kind of need and want different things from our skincare routines, right? It's also gonna vary wildly from product to product, but just generally speaking, my personal experience with using an essence in my skincare routines, I really do feel that it does kind of 
supercharge my routine. You know, if I was just using a toner and a serum and a moisturizer, I definitely am going to be getting benefits. But when I also add an essence, it brings that extra something, that extra oomph to my skincare. All of a sudden, my skin does look a little bit healthier. All of a sudden, the brightening is happening faster. You know, maybe overall, I have better hydration levels. It definitely depends on the product, but it is kind of one of those extra oomphs, that je ne sais quoi, that when you add it into your routine, you notice that it's doing something. It's not whoa, but it's like, I definitely think that this is helping. It is kind of like a supportive player. It is kind of a booster product. All right. So what's a first essence? What is a first essence? What the F is a first essence? This is a question that I get asked a lot. First thing that I want to tell you is it's not really a marketing term. I think a lot of people think it's just kind of part of the name of these products like Misha Time Revolution First Treatment Essence. The first essence that Misha has ever created, right? That's actually not what it means. The word first um, in the name is actually indicating where in your skincare routine you should be ordering this product. So the traditional, you know, Korean 10 step skincare routine, there's a very specific order, right? I think all of us have committed it to memory. Generally speaking, it's like cleanser, toner, essence, serum, moisturizer, blah, 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 right? There's more, but that's the basic one, right? When you have a first essence, that order will change and it is now going to become cleanser, first essence, toner, serums, moisturizers, blah, blah, blah. It's like, what are you doing? Like you're breaking the 10 step routine. <laughs> so first essences are supposed to go onto your skin first. Why? Now they are actually bringing a lot of the same benefits we just talked about. They're just general overall benefits for the skin with the highly concentrated ingredients. But first essences kind of take it up a notch. And what they also function as is like skincare prep product. They are a product that really preps your skin for the rest of your skincare routine. They aid absorption of the skincare that you place on top of it. They also can help make your overall routine more effective. Uh, so they really are kind of like a supercharged booster product. How are they making your other skincare products work better? How is it making the products absorb into your skin better? How? Almost exclusively, first essences are fermented. They are using fermented ingredients. And when you ferment an ingredient, all kinds of magical things happen. Uh, and it depends on what you're fermenting, but it definitely helps boost the benefits of said fermented ingredient, it creates all kinds of wonderful antioxidants. But what it also does is it, it allows for better penetration, not only of the fermented formulation of that specific skincare product, but it also helps other things that you put on top of it get in deeper into your skin. When you can get those good beneficial skincare ingredients deep into your skin, they work better, they work faster. And that is really the claim to fame when it comes to first essences. This is how they function. This is why they bring so many benefits. And this is why I can tell you personally, in my experience, first essences can be a wow type of product. These are the types of products that can make you go like, whoa, I saw an immediate benefit on my skin. It's that fermentation. How do I know that this essence is a first essence? Like, how can you tell what's a first essence and what isn't? My number one tip for you is going to be the name. It's always in the name. You wanna look for keywords like first or starting. These are big indicators about where this product is supposed to be ordered in your skincare routine. And I mean, not always the most helpful thing, but I would suggest actually looking at the instructions. <laughs> like I know how to use an essence, but it can sometimes be a clue into how to use this because some essences will say use right after cleansing and along with like first or starting in the name, you're good to go with your first essence. But some of them will say after applying toner and that will kind of clue you in on the fact that this is a traditional essence that should be put in the traditional order. Now you want to look at the ingredients as well because fermentation can be a clue. Let me tell you though, this is not a hard and fast rule just because there is a fermented ingredient on an ingredients list 
that doesn't automatically make your essence a first essence, but it can be a clue, especially if you're seeing it high up on the list for a lot of different ferments in an essence. There's a pretty good chance that that essence is meant to go on first after cleansing. So not a hard and fast rule, but it can be a hint. Now texture is probably the biggest hint on where you need to be uh, ordering your essences in your skincare routine because the textures are very different from each other. So first essences, truly the best word to describe this texture is thin. And I don't just mean when you pour it out onto your hand or um, onto your skin, you see that it's very watery and runny. It's not just that. I'm talking about a, a thin feeling on the skin. It absorbs lightning fast, right? It feels weightless on your skin. That is the type of, of texture I'm talking about. Something that is even thinner in feeling than a traditional toner texture is. So I'm going to do a little demonstration here. So a traditional toner texture, which by the way, toners, so many different textures, right? Like it's, it's a really like wild category of product. But when I'm talking about a traditional kind of toner texture, I mean, very watery, very runny, very light. And what I want to use as my comparison is the Soon Jung Relief Toner. So you see this is very runny. It absorbs pretty fast into the skin, but when you compare it to the Misha Time Revolution First Treatment Essence, look at how much quicker this absorbs in the skin. Look at how much thinner this is in appearance, but also you can just see how it performs on the skin in a much more thin uh, kind of way, right? Now let's talk about traditional essences, right? Those are generally more, more thick than your toner. So here I have the I'm from Mugwort Essence. Now you can see this is still runny. This is still quite thin, but you see there's some body to this one that the Soon Jung toner does not have. And certainly not the Misha first essence. There's some body to this one and it, it does bring a lot of hydration. It absorbs nicely, but you see the differences between the three this is going to really be a good indication of where you should be layering this in your skincare routine. If you can't quite figure it out from the name or the instructions, look at that texture. All right. So some examples of first essences to get you started. We already talked about the Misha uh, Time Revolution First Treatment Essence. Also from Misha, this is their Artemisia Treatment Essence. Neogen Micro Ferment Essence is actually a first essence. Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. Hanyul and Tony Moly both have um, Artemisia Essences that are first essences. And oddly enough, one that I wanna point out that kinda breaks the, um, the texture sort of rule or clue that we talked about is the Sulwaso the first care activating serum. Um, so this texture is a little bit thicker, um, but it does still have that characteristic thin feeling. It's just not as watery and runny as um, these other products that we talked about. But the hint is right there in the name first care. This is meant to go on first and it will help to enhance the rest of your skincare routine. So let's talk traditional essences. You know, we talked about the texture. They are definitely a texture that is very solidly in between a toner and a serum, much thinner than a serum, but much thicker than a toner, right? Somewhere in between, which is a really great indication of where you should put it on in your skincare routine. Now, when I was talking about first essences, you know, I really highlighted the fact that they can work better and faster for you, really enhance your overall skincare routine and give you some really wow results. You'll really notice the difference. They're pretty flashy, like in the skincare world, like a first essence is like, yeah, I'm going to bring you some benefits, girl. Like it's in your face, right? A traditional essence is a very much that that middle ground product that bridges the gap between your hydrating step and your kind of treatment and moisturizing step. Traditional essences bring lots of concentrated benefits to the party. Do not get that confused. They still have a lot of great active ingredients that are going to bring those overall complexion benefits and some of those great preventative anti-aging benefits, but they just do it in a more casual and relaxed way. One of the biggest kind of benefits that I see traditional essences bringing into my skincare routine is that good old oil water balance. Because those first essences, they're so thin in texture, they don't bring a lot of hydration to the party. They can make your hydrating steps work better for you, right? That's how they function. 
but on their own, they don't bring a lot to the party when it comes to oil or water balance. Traditional essences do. And so that's really their kind of claim to fame is that, that it's that kind of like that in-between stuff that just bridges the gap. It just makes it better. Some of my favorite hydrating essences that still have brightening, that still have anti-aging, but just bring that great deep hydration bomb. Primera Miracle Seed Essence and the Iope Bio um, Essence is so, so, so deeply hydrating for uh, dehydrated skin. It really does add something, some je ne sais quoi, if you will, that I can't get from a serum and I can't get from a toner. They're definitely very special in the hydration department. We also talked about the I'm from Mugwar Essence already, but I just love the texture of this. It is definitely a really nice hydrating essence with just a touch a touch of moisture to it it's very very lightweight it's such a good one to go for if you have a lot of redness on your skin or some irritation it's a very gentle product that definitely has some great oil water benefits wish trend quad active boosting essence brings some great lightweight moisture to the party. Those of you who need a little bit more moisture balancing on your skin, this is a really beautiful one to go towards. It's got a little bit of propolis in it. And it's got a whole bunch of anti-inflammation benefits. Excellent if you have acne prone skin. And another moisturizing essence comes from Innisfree. It's their soybean energy essence. And this just has a little touch of nourishing oil in it. And you can feel that on your skin. It's a very nourishing, moisturizing, sort of comforting essence on the skin. So good if you have dryness. So hopefully that answers some of your burning questions about essences, but I do have a few more pieces of advice for you before I let you go from this K-beauty lecture, <laughs> before I let you go. So number one I wanna say is um, texture. Texture, texture, texture. When in doubt, just remember that you should be ordering all of your skincare products from the thinnest texture to thickest texture. If you follow that and really consider the, you know, very unique mixture of products that you personally are using right now, you really can't go wrong, right? Because you're most likely going to be putting that first essence first anyways, unless you have the weird Sulawaso one, right? But generally speaking, it's not going to steer you wrong. So always remember texture, texture, texture. My second piece of advice is don't worry so much about it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think that Skincare can cause a lot of anxiety for a lot of us. Like, am I doing this right? And this is one of those steps, you know, there's definitely some things in skincare that should be taken very seriously. And there's other stuff where it's like, it's just skincare. Like, like it's okay, it's okay. And this is one of them where I feel like you can relax a little bit, it's okay. You know, um, definitely if you've been using your first essence as a, like a traditional essence, just try the other way and see if you like it, you know, but don't stress out about it because the thing is like, what's the worst thing that could happen if you put your Misha Time Revolution first treatment on after toner? Nothing. Maybe you miss out on some extra hydration benefits, right? But it's not the end of the world. Nothing bad is going to happen. It's okay. So don't worry about it too much. Don't fret, which kind of leads me into another piece of advice, which is um, experiment. Experiment, experiment, experiment. Like, here's the thing. We kind of have to learn the rules in order to break them. So now that we know what a first essence is, what it's meant to do for our skin, and what a traditional essence is meant to do, feel free to play around with the order. I mean, like, maybe use your traditional essence as a first essence what? <laughs> like this girl is like super confusing me. She just answered all my questions and now she's adding more questions. I don't mean to complicate it, but I just want to say that like sometimes it feels good. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm thinking of specifically the Primera and the Iope essences that I, that I described as hydration bombs. For whatever reason, this has happened to me. For whatever reason, with my skin and the particular mix of products that I absolutely love using, those traditional essences feel so darn good on my skin first, prior to toner. I don't know why, but my skin just loves it like that. And that's what I do. It's not right, but it's also not wrong either. So it's just what my skin likes. So that's why I say, just like experiment, you know, learn the rules know what the products are meant to do, and then play around and see what works for you. And my final piece of advice really goes back to that initial question about essences, like, is it necessary? And the question that I actually encourage you to ask of every single skincare product that you put on your face is, is this necessary? And 
what is this bringing to my skincare routine? Because that's going to answer the question. You know, I actually really encourage that everybody try an essence in their skincare routine. I've gained so many benefits from them, but I really want everybody to try one just so that they know what it brings to their skincare routine. Cause some people may find that it's not necessary. Other people may find it essential. I also think it's important to um, ask, what is this bringing to my skincare routine as a way to potentially cut down on skincare steps? It is possible with some essences. You know, the reason I said that the Primera and the Iope, I just love putting it on first. It just, it jives so well with my skin. Why do I say that? Because I put less layers of toner on afterwards very thirsty, dehydrated skin here, and I found that it benefited my skin that way. So I gained a lot more benefit from just hydration, but I also cut some steps down as well, some layers down. I've also found with certain essences that they can replace serums. They're just as powerful, they're just as potent, but they're lighter weight, quicker absorbing. So good for saving time in the morning, right? Maybe you can skip out on your serum and just go in for a nice essence. So I'm curious, you know, are essences essential in your skincare routine or maybe not? So let me know in the comment box below. And also if you want to, um, let me know some of your favorite essences because you know I love them. I'm always looking for new ones. If you're not subscribed to my channel, but you absolutely enjoyed the video, please do consider hitting subscribe. I release two new Korean skincare focused videos every single week. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those two videos because sometimes I release three videos a week. And if you guys haven't joined me yet on Instagram, but you would love to see a daily dose of K-beauty on your feed, come join me over on Instagram. I post there daily about my skincare adventures. I post uh, mini reviews and I introduce a whole bunch of new products over on Instagram that you don't always see on YouTube. So come join me on Instagram and don't forget to say hi. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.